All right, here we go. Of course. Okay, so the ballistic saga continues. Uh, as I said in my other video, the other night I was out for a little bit and I uh, went to start the bike and she wouldn't turn over. And uh, it looked like the, the voltage on my battery had dropped quite a bit. Um, basically, well, I was able to get the bike to start. The ballistic's kind of weird. In cold weather, if you keep trying to crank it, eventually the battery warms up and it'll start the bike. That's the way they're designed, right? But this wasn't a particularly cold night. It was still like, I don't know, 14, 15 degrees out. Um, but just the battery had drained or something. Now I thought maybe, okay, because I was charging some stuff off the bike. I was charging a, a cell phone, but not even for that long though, right? And it's a cell phone. How much is it going to drain a motorcycle battery? Anyways, I figured, okay, maybe I just miscalculated. I drained the battery a bit too much. So, got the bike running, went for a nice long ride, got home, thought everything was cool. But yeah, the next morning, my, uh, my alarm key fob, which I said before it shows the voltage, was, was giving me a, a low battery warning. Okay, that's not good. So, so again, whatever, I figured, well, maybe I just didn't get out long enough to really charge the battery the night before. So I took it out, rode around, really uh, tried to rev the bike, which I'm still kind of trying to do tonight now. And when I got home, uh, key fob showed 13.8 volts. I'm like, okay, that's good. That's, that's where it should be. But then I checked it again not even five minutes later, and it was like 13.2 volts. That's too much of a drop. I waited another five minutes, checked it again, and it was like 12.4. Okay, that's not good battery draining that quickly when there's nothing pulling power from it, I figure, okay, my battery's probably shot. So this, uh, this morning, a friend of mine comes over and um, I go to check the bike and sure enough, the battery is so low it doesn't even want to crank. Well, I said, whatever, I've got a battery tender, pop the battery out, bring it upstairs, left it on the battery tender for a couple hours light came up green so that doesn't indicate necessarily a problem with it as far as I can tell the battery is charged okay cool pop the battery back in the bike check the voltage 12.2 still not where it should be so at this point I said okay well you know what I've got no choice let's see what happens try to start the bike and it will not crank uh, same deal. I tried it a few more times and eventually it started up. So here I, here I am now. I'm out riding. I'm going to run it for a bit and see if I ride harder. Maybe it'll charge the battery proper. Maybe it'll hold. But I'm pretty sure what's happened is that at least one of the cells in my uh, ballistic battery has failed. Now if that's the case, there's nothing I can do really. Ballistic does have a warranty on their batteries. The problem with that is you've got to send in the battery first, have them analyze it, and if they deem that it is indeed defective, they'll authorize you to get a discount on a replacement battery. Not a complete replacement, but a discount. Now the problem with that is, I'm not going to go without a bike for however long it takes. If it winds up being six to eight weeks or something stupid like that, obviously I've got a, I've got a ride. I, I don't have a car. So I'm going to be buying a new battery and then by the time that they do whatever they got to do, there's no point anyway, so I'm just going to wind up with a spare battery. I guess that's better than nothing, but it's just a pain in the ass. Now I'm going to say a few people did tell me they had similar experiences and I read online about people whose batteries just suddenly died. I figured, ah, whatever, you know, it's probably just a one-off thing. 
but I am the guy that this kind of shit usually happens to. If there's a way for something to fail, in a stupid and sudden way, I'm usually the one that it happens to. Oh fuck, I didn't realize I'm going. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So, I'm going to give it another go tonight. I'm going to see what the battery reads tomorrow. If the battery's low again, I guess I'm going for a new battery. I'll keep you guys posted. And uh, I guess that's it for the moment, guys. Tech Ninja out. Ride safe. Ride smart. And uh, maybe don't buy ballistic. Alright, guys. Later. Okay, I'll let you know. I'm going to pull over to the side for a minute. Okay. So yeah, my battery's fucked. Uh, just filled up gas and pretty much the bike would not start afterwards. Had a nice guy here that, uh, oh, that's a one way. Had a nice guy here that was uh, willing to give me a bump start or a boost. He actually, uh, man, the uh, the luck I've had lately. Uh, he's a rider himself who's sitting here with a trailer with an enduro bike in the back. Said, yeah, no problem, man. Give you a boost if you need it. Managed to get the bike started, but this time it really, really struggled. So I know this battery's toast. I'm just hoping it's just the battery and, it, and uh, I don't have a bad stator or something too, because. Honestly, man, if that's the case, I can't afford to fix that right now, and you guys aren't going to be seeing any vlogs from me for a while. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm heading home. I'm going to fucking take this battery out as soon as I got a new one and chuck it, because this thing would leave me stranded if, uh, if this shit keeps happening. Yeah, if this shit keeps happening. So unfortunately, contrary to my previous reviews on the battery, Guys, I do not recommend the ballistic battery because when it does fail, it does it fucking without any warning. I mean, I guess maybe you can't really expect a lot of warning anyways, but I was supposed to be going on a couple of big rides this weekend and it's a good thing I didn't because I would have gotten screwed.